what is happening i got a update for you i've been leaving stuff on uh, youtube shorts trying that out if you want to go back and see those if you haven't but let me give you the lay of the land here so far oops sorry about that so thanks to you guys this is where i'm looking look at all that I've got everything with the exception of the windshield, which you can see the haze on it right there, <laughs> except for the windshield, but I think we're going to be fine on that. And the lights, I've got a bulb out here, and the guy's saying that this is out here, which uh, these are LEDs as far as I, they can't be incandescent. So this isn't out. How did all those lights go out? It's a bad connection. Or maybe there's some other thing that I don't know about on these lights that I've never seen before, a capacitor, but I seriously doubt it. So I just got to get in and take that apart and see what's going on and get all this stuff installed. In the meantime, with respect to the windshield, let me tell you a story about that. So last I talked about it, I was at uh, Walmart. I picked up a few uh, spinning wheels that would go on my uh drill on the highest speed and i got on i got on with it i started using the the scratchiest one first scratchiest medium scratchy soft is what i did and turns out i didn't do much more than just make a big mess i'm putting a haze on it which is good i mean that's if it's got a haze that means it's further down than it was but i'm just picking at it i, I probably got several se over several days hours on this so I'm looking on Facebook Marketplace, my go-to these days, and I see a polisher. And the gal only wants 10 bucks for it. And I think, wow, I'm home free. So I get, let's see if I can do this here. So I get, I contact with her, you know, she's busy. I said, well, hey, leave it behind the flower pot. I don't, you know, whatever. And so she does. Thank God I've got my dirt bike. And I'll go on a little bit of a rant about that before I finish this story. Man, I love having a dirt bike. You just, it's just so nice and the roads are so beautiful here. It's so lush and the, the trees and the leaves and everything are just coming in on you. And you've got the sun dappled road with the coolness of the shade of the trees. And I bet I put 50 miles on that dirt bike, which would have been on this. And here I am, you know, trying to be real close with what I'm spending. And I put money in it today to top it off. And I couldn't get any more than $10 in the, in the tank of that thing in fuel. And it's just so fun to ride. I've got to do a couple of things to keep up the maintenance on it. But I just love having a dirt bike. Anyway, so back to this. I go to the lady's house, get the polisher, and I'm looking on it. She sent me a picture, you know, when she had it posted. There was a picture up there available on amps and RPMs. And I thought, 2,000 RPMs. I think that's what my drill can't be much more than that. So I looked up my drill, and it is 2,000. Well, I'm thinking, well, heck, I already got 2,000. I think I'm, I'm going to need a little bit more than that to get the uh, thing going. So here's what I did. I got the $10 Rockwell. It's a four amp, 2000 max RPMs. You can see it's got a steel or iron housing. Pretty cool, right? So I go to, but it's only 2000 RPM. So I go to Harbor Freight to match it up with some polishing pads. And I'm looking at the polishing pads and I'm taking them out of the packaging and I'm matching them up on this. And I'm thinking, does this have uh, uh, velcro and it doesn't and can i buy some velcro for it can i just put some heavy duty velcro on it myself little patches all around with that work and as i'm looking at all this i'm in there with this for a while and i look down and i see a uh, polisher for sale regularly 89 dollars price is slashed to 69 dollars and then there's a line through that and it says clearance $29. Well, I'm about to spend $26.99 on a couple of different uh, polishing uh, accessories for this. So I look at it and it's 10 amps and it's 3,500 uh, RPMs. And I'm thinking, well, for $29, it's almost irresponsible for me to not pounce on this. It's the only one. 
I look at it, I take it out of the box. Looks like it's okay, probably just a return. I still have to get some polishing units here. Let me show you. So I had the, I still have this. This is a sandpaper, so that's fine. So here is the warrior, which is a fancy word for straight out of China. <clears throat> but it's got the stats on its side and it's got a warranty on it and it's only 30 bucks. That, that keeps me between this, I'll show you the pads. And these pads, this is Velcro and this is Velcro. And it's a uh, coarse foam polishing pad. I went with the coarse because I can come back behind it with one of these things and I can go back to Harbor Freight and get other pads too. It's not a one shot deal. So now I've got <clears throat> still under a hundred bucks on this windshield, but I got a buffer in, in case I need one. I know I'm putting scratches right here. I doubt the camera's picking them up, but I'm putting scratches right here. I probably just put scratches on by scooting that across. So I need to knock that crap off and start using a little table. But uh, the moral of all this story is things are looking up on the windshield. So I'm gonna get this uh, cracking on this today. Uh, thank you for all of the tips and tricks. So at this point, I just need to polish this out, get the uh, stuff all squared away, the, the parts you saw. You know, I could probably get that done in a day or two. I'm not a very fast worker. And get that thing down and get it inspected. And then I'm onto the emissions side of it and I'll see what I can pick up for work that way uh, as far as delivering things goes, or maybe be a handyman and I can carry my tools for that. I, I was thinking about signing up on the TaskRabbit app from the research I did, they're here, and there's several folks online which tells me that uh, it's worth it for them to be there. So I'm probably gonna have to try a lot of things before something really hits, but I'm moving in the right direction and that's the, that's the point of all this. So thanks again for all you guys that are pitching in on this stuff. I'm going to get working on this as far as the house goes. Keely, some of you other guys, you're so dialed in on this stuff because, you know, the story about you got a turd that nobody wants and you start polishing on it and you probably know the rest of that story. Uh, so I got nothing. Sometimes nothing is a cool hand. See you later. Sometimes nothing can be a real cool hand.